Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to ride some scenic multi-use trails from Gemini Springs Park down to Sanford, Florida, have a nice lunch on the waterfront. Let's check it out. So we're at Gemini Springs Park. We're going to head out for a ride on the Spring, spring Trail. So this is the beginning of one of the springs here. Oh, we're gonna swing by the springs first to show you why it's called Gemini Springs. That's the spring, check it out. This is one of two natural freshwater springs at Gemini Springs Park. Between the two of them, they pump 6.5 million gallons of water every day out of the ground. The birds. So pretty, right? This is all the spring water. So cool, right? Oh yeah, choose the knees. Don't feed the alligators or the squirrels. Don't feed anything. So this is Gemini Springs Park, which is the trailhead for the Spring to Spring Trail, which is a multi-use trail that connects to a couple of other multi-use trails. Ooh. Oh, look at the big fish. Look, he's like a, right there. those are cool. Yeah? yeah, little fishes. I like big fishes. Pretty empty. Wow, look at this. The trees are so pretty. Oh, here we go. Birdies flying. Hey, turtle, turtle. We've got about a three hour window until storms are supposed to roll in. That could change, we keep an eye on it. But our plan is to go follow the trail, like along, oh, boom, those are the power lines, look. So we're gonna come out through those power lines and then kind of behind this area to another state park. And then we're gonna go over a bridge. And from there, we'll make our way along the shores of Lake Monroe for a little sightseeing and lunch in Sanford, Florida. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little warmer than yesterday. It's almost 80, but it's still not, it's not hot. Oh, that's a cool looking palm tree over there. All right, we are leaving Gemini Springs Park now. We're gonna join up with the rail trail. You can see it coming in on the right there. And here we go. So we're gonna run along these power lines, but just for a short bit, and then we're gonna duck into the woods. Ooh, are the cows out? Ooh, I don't think I see any cows today. There were, there were a bunch of cows here yesterday, and they were like right up at the fence. All right, let's turn around. Oh, isn't this so cool, Bo? I love, this is like Florida. You get all this prehistoric looking foliage. It's crazy looking in here. It's like going back in time. I love it. Whoa. Hi, Boo. There was Boo on her in motion, P2. I think we're at like 1,300 miles on this bike now or something. It's been great. So yesterday we did a pretty good ride. Longest ride we've ever done with these vehicles. 42 miles. Janet's bike was at like 44%, I think. And my wheel was at about 42 or 43%. Now we weren't going fast, as you can see. We're not speed demons, but that was pretty great. No charging, I was just, just riding. We're not gonna beat that mileage today, I don't think, because of the weather, but it looks beautiful just the same. It's so cool. Look at these giant palm fronds and like the big oak trees, I think. I think they're oak with the air plants. Isn't it cool? Yeah, I never get over, like when we come down to Florida and we saw all of this just super vegetation, I feel like. <laughs> like these massive fronds, right, and everything. It's so cool. I mean, I guess to the people that live down here, it's just the trees on the trail. But I feel like we're in prehistoric lands. Gonna see a brontosaurus or something. Are we coming up to the bridge? No, it's just a picnic table. Just a picnic table. There's a really cool bridge coming up. It's all wooden and twisty through the through the trees and stuff. Here comes the bridge I was telling you about. I love it. Woo! Hi, Bo. Okay. Sometimes we go over the bridge a bunch of times. <laughs> okay, so right after the bridge, we're coming up on the next state park, Lake Monroe Park. Maybe it's not a state park? I don't know, it's a park. So there's a trail here. So you get to the park this way, but we're gonna go around. Okay, so we're here at Lake Rose Park now. 
also has a nice dock over here. Do not feed or molest the alligators. Is that really necessary? Is that a problem? I guess, yeah, I guess you could see it, right? Well, you know what probably happens? Like people catch a fish and maybe throw it to the alligator. This is Lake Monroe, and we're gonna go up over that bridge. We're gonna come down over there in the middle, and then we're gonna ride along this all the way to a town on the shore, on the shore which we scoped down on Google Maps. Should be pretty cool. Little lizard on the table. Oh, there he goes. He's like, what? What do I make of this? And there's all these crazy caterpillars. Look at these things. They're very bizarre looking caterpillars. They got these humps on their back. Look at this awesome alligator. <laughs> Something else that's really nice about this trail network is that there is bathrooms like every four miles. I think. So that's really nice if you need restrooms when you're out and about. All right, so we're on our way out of the park now, going up onto the highway there, and we're gonna go over the bridge. Here we go. There's the bridge. Hello. Oh, here's the little island we're going down to. And we're gonna go out on that, that bridge there. Yeah, they sort of turned the old railroad bridge into a, a dock. We're gonna go check that out. We're gonna ride out on there. So there's a boat ramp over here, but this is the cool part. Oh, let's check out the sign. It's got information about this bridge. Oh, it's an old electric drawbridge, boo. Oh, no, it's a swing bridge. Well, I don't, I, I think a swing bridge literally swings out of the way instead of a, we'll have to Google it. Maybe we can find some information about so it's the old swing bridge here. Oh, I love bridges. Come up next to me. Hi. Whoa. The bridge we just came off. And there's the new drawbridge. And in there is where the other park was. So I'll have to Google where the swing bridge is and see if we can find some pictures of the Lake, all right, the Lake Monroe Swing Bridge. And now we're leaving. So we came this far yesterday. So we haven't been further down the bike trail, but I looked up on Google Map and it looks like it goes all the way, nice uninterrupted trail to, to this really pretty little seaside town. So we're gonna see what happens. When we go under the bridge, Boo, like look to the left, Look on, look straight through. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, so it looks like there's a little section they haven't quite finished, so, but hopefully we can get over to the other side and have a good run. Whoa, softer, be careful. But right over here, you get back on the trail. Okay, you on the trail yet? No. Nope. This is super brand new, huh? This is the freshy fresh. Yeah, this was this section I was reading online. It said it was slated to be completed in 2020, so they could have had like delays with the pandemic and everything. Um, I wasn't able to find anything that said it was completed, but it seemed like it was, so we'll find out. Oh, it's much quieter over here. I knew this was still going to be along the road, but so I wasn't sure if it would be noisy. Oh, look at this cool little roundabout intersection. So this is really pretty. They're building up this trail. They get all these new trees going in. They're probably going to grass this all in. We're running right along the lake. The, the view hasn't opened up yet. Hey, Bo. Oh, you're starting to see more of the lake. Look at that. How cool is this? Right, right along the water like this, right? Oh, there's a guy in a, there's a guy coming in a recumbent trike, yeah. Check out the recumbent trike. Nice. I always thought those were so cool. They're establishing new palm trees. There we go, look at the water now. Beautiful. So they're, they're digging this trench for a purple pipe here. We're not sure what, it, what it's for. It's pretty thick, so it looks like maybe some sort of, you know, it could be water drainage, like off the road. Oh, this is so cool. Look, it just opened up. We have no trees at all. It's just us and the water now. Wow, that's cool. This is a really beautiful section of trail. I mean, how many places can you ride right along the water like this? And it's nice wide. This has got to be 12 feet wide. It's fantastic. Yes, wide multi-use path. Good for riding my wheel. Our nephew Oliver is about two, two and a half years old, and he calls my unicycle Uncle Michael's wheel. And because he's a little kid, he has to really work to put the word out, so it's Uncle Michael's wheel. So we love that. I got a little piece missing here. Oh, are you riding? Yeah, smart. I couldn't tell how bad it was going to be. I definitely could have ridden across that, but ow, that's some sand in my eye. What do you think? This is pretty great, right? Wow, this weather is perfect too. If it was 90, I'd be dying right now. This is Yeah, it's like 80 degrees, but these clouds, it's supposed to rain later, so 
but these clouds are covering the sun nicely. <laughs> oh, look at these palm trees coming up. Oh, those look awesome. Palm trees. Everything's better with palm trees. Ha! Hi. Ooh, secret hedges. Yeah. Bridges. Hey guys, coming up behind you. No worries. Always ride with a bell. So I think we're arriving in the town here. So I think this is Sanford. It's supposed to be this really pretty little town, but this is beautiful along the wall. Oh, look at all the cormorants, or I think they're cormorants. All the old docks and stuff. Good morning. Well, this has almost like a New Englandy feel on the right. Like if you don't look at the water, it just, you know, but yeah, the deciduous trees and the buildings, it just almost kind of looks like New England, yeah? Follow camp shot of you. Oh, that's pretty. Duck? What do you mean, duck? You saw a duck? Oh, I hear it. I hear it quacking. Come a quacking. Look at this. There's a whole little waterfront area. We go check this out. Oh, look at this. Isn't this pretty, Bo? So there's a water tower. We, that's over by the park, and then that's the bridge that we went over. And I think we started somewhere, like maybe in that direction across the lake. It's doing a little, a little loop there. Why don't you go down the stairs? This is pretty. I love it. This is such a beautiful ride. Wow. And especially with this. And oh, it is Sanford. Look, the town is Sanford. That's where we are. You, you could park and ride out to Sanford. Have some lunch at a restaurant, sip out of water, and then, oh, hon, there's swings. Honey, there's swings. Yeah, we need to go on the swings. Swings. Oh, boy, we love swings. Swing update. It's not the best swing. <laughs> it's got a very aggressive short chain. <laughs> really limits the swing height, which I guess I, I understand. But I feel like it's a little aggressive. You ready? Okay. Let's get the boat. This is so cool. We're going right by the water, right? I think I'm filming you by the boats. Oh, look, there's more swings. They have double swings. This place is great. Wow, way to go, Sanford. Love all the sailboats here, too. It's a really, really cool place in the summer. So this goes on to this island where there's a marina. Pretty fancy looking restaurant, too. If it has like on the water seating, it could be nice, but I'm not sure that it does. I think she said, are you playing hockey? I get my selfie stick looks like a hockey stick to her, I guess. Oh, here's the place I was talking about. Doesn't look that fancy from here. St. John's River. Oh, so is this, are we on a river now, do you think? Whoa, look at this now. This is so cool. Look at this. Oh, we could turn around here. Hi, how cool is this? Wow, this is awesome. Oh, they don't have outdoor seating, really. Oh, they do. There's a deck over there. Well, those people are just packed in there, though. I'm not sure I feel okay with that. But uh, I could do that table right there. Oh, look. See, that's the bridge we came over all the way out there. See? Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to sit inside anyway. I understand. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. They're covered, too. Sanford is killing it. How's it going? Oh my goodness, do you hear all the birds on the roof? <laughs> like, chick, chick, chick. There's a little special birdhouses. See? Oh, it's Purple Martin Nesting Grounds. Whoa, oh, this thing's got style. Oh, it's got a mega fin on it, too. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Bo. I like these little sitting areas here, too. And here's the end of the trail. Whoa. Wow, that's fantastic. Isn't that a great ride? I wonder. 
like a lot of bird action at this tree. It's so pretty. They put so much work into this waterfront. It's beautiful, all these little swings and seawall and stuff. Oh, wow, look at that old trimaran. Oh, St. John River ship. Hi, Caitlin. I have a little bit of a strange request. My wife and I came on an e-bike and a unicycle, and we're out back, and we'd love to eat at your restaurant, but we don't want to, like, pull everything through the inside. Caitlin's coming to meet us. She said, at the moment, we are on a wait. All right. We're going to grab some food at the St. John's, St. John's River Steak and Seafood. <laughs> Hi, Right on the St. John's River. We're waiting to order. But I'm getting a little bit nervous about the clouds. Weather Channel says we have about an hour and 40 minutes. And I reckon we're about an hour from where we parked. So Janet had a great idea to hack the, the wait here. We pulled in and placed a takeout order. So we got our food and we don't have to wait too long. And we get to sit by the water and enjoy it. And the weather forecast improved. Looks like we have another hour. So we're actually doing really well now. Mm. Okay. Crab cakes for Janet. Right. I got fish tacos. Yeah, so Janet has pointed out that it is now raining over there. Now it's not raining here, but we need to go like over there. It kind of looks like where the rain's heading. I don't know. Weather Channel says we're good until, well, for like another three hours. We'll see. Good little lunch at the St. John's River. So was that nice? Yeah. That was very good. So what do you think? Stanford's a winner, huh? This is a, this is a really great spot. So we're leaving the Sanford River Walk. That was fun. What a great little spot. Highly recommend this ride. Enjoy the water and the views. Hi, Bo. I got you on camera. I follow cam you. Okay, let's do a little wrap up in case my battery dies. Come next to me. Catching up. Hey, Bo. Good ride? Yeah. So, we're gonna do a little wrap up in case the battery dies. I got a, just a little bit of battery left. Well, my battery didn't die, but my camera did start acting up. So, I'm gonna show you the little bit of footage I got left. We'll do the wrap up in a minute. Okay, you ready? That's cool, right? We're crossing the St. John's River. We're way over there. City of the Barry. Guess what? It's time for the bridge. One last bridge on our way back. It's gonna be about 26 miles round trip, it looks like. For some reason, I cannot connect to my wheel anymore via Bluetooth. I don't know what that's about. But we're gonna enjoy the trip home, try not to get wet, and we'll see how it goes. As I play my last few seconds of footage here, I don't have any audio from this, but as you can see, we made it back to the park safely. We explored a little bit more around Gemini Springs Park, which is a lovely place. Highly recommend you go there if you're ever in the area. And then we headed out for a little bit of dinner and called it a day. If you made it this far in the video, leave me a comment. Let me know that you made it to the end. Why don't you hit the like button? Maybe think about subscribing to the channel. I love finding new places to ride my electric unicycle and my one wheel, and I love making videos about it. I hope to share the next one with you real soon. And until then, I hope you have a great day, and always keep riding.